Assalamualaikum and good day to Dr. Zaitun. We are from Group 1. We'll present the fiber to the building passive optical network using point to multi point. So, my name is Wan Dania Aida and I'll be presenting the abstract, intro, and the design. So, for the abstract, the development of fiber optic access network will become the principal tool for fixed network that include phone data and television service in the house. Furthermore, fiber to the building networks combine copper wire and fiber optic telephone networks to create unified networks that integrates and establish operator net current network. Due to legal or regulatory requirements, a FTTB network may be required to be shared among many operators, in which case, it becomes a multi-operator network with difficulties that differ significantly from those of a normal unbundled network. Using the optic system software, uh, we must design a fiber to the building passive optical network. We use the component in the optic system to create a 1 gigabit per second PON model in the program. The document then obtains the spectrum figure of the simulated fiber link and analyzes the parameter after computing the model. Uh, for the introduction, a uh, passive optical network, PON, is a network that carries optical fiber cabling and signals all the way to the end users. Moreover, up to 32 optical networks unit can typically be linked to optical line. Once the signal has passed through the network, the, pass, the passive merely refers to the fact that optical transmissions require neither power or active electrical components. Furthermore, at the optical level, all PON systems have basically the same theoretical capacity. And next, for the objective. So for the objective, first to design fiber to the building, passive optical network PON, and second is to investigate the performance of the design system by using different types of optical fibers for one direction and bidirectional transmission mode. So for so this is for the figure one passive optical network architecture. Uh, it depicts the suggest network design, the suggested PON architecture like all uninvolved optical organization consists of one OLT, one splitter and 32 or 64 ONP, optical network terminal modules. And for the below, figure 2, it, it is for PON for three topology in point multi point with a central office typically servicing thousands of subscribers. Uh, PONs may be installed flexibly in this topology using 1 to 2 ratio optical tips and 1 to N optical speakers. Uh, next is for the figure 3. It is the FTTB architecture. Given that changing access technology in the last mile is the most expensive, incumbent operators have been serially replacing their distribution and feeder cables with fiber optic cables while retaining the drop wires with gigabit passive optical network. Uh, this generally involves cutting the access network where the drop wires begins and the distribution network joins and installing BDSL to modem cabinets. Uh, networking principle, uh, by referring the figure, the network, uh, for the network layout, the optical line terminal planning, the GE interface connects the OLT to the PRS of the IP metropolitan area network. Uh, then it connects to the rest or rest the aggregation switch. Next, for the planning the optical network, uh, the use of XPON to build a network requires a large amount of fiber. The necessity detailed fiber planning, otherwise the investment would be wasted. Uh, for the split level planning, the passive optical splitter should have first level splitting or two level splitting. The distance splitter may be configured up to two levels to assure network quality and a specific transmission stance. For the splitter selection and setting, the splitter selection, the splitter most popular splits ratio are 1 to 2, 
1.16 and 1.32. In operation, the splitter with the suitable split ratio is chosen based on numbers of ONU connected to the splitter and taking into account the required reservations. Uh, next for the splitter setting, the optical splitter can be placed in the cell room, a fiber optical cabinet, fiber optical distribution, fiber cable closure, and a weak electric well to ease the entrance and exit of the optical cable. So that's all from me. Next, my friend Rangita will continue. Okay, Rangita, I will show our uh, design and simulation. This is, this is for downstream single mode. This is our design and then the behind one is a uh, tree topology. The simulation is, okay. CW lasers, optical spectrum analyzer. CW laser, optical power meter. MZ modulator, spectrum analyzer. Optical power meter. This one is single mode fiber, optical power meter. Optical power meter. Electrical power meter. BER analyzer. Q factor. Minimum BER. Threshold. Height. And this is the BER pattern and we can see the analysis values at the right side. Second one is downstream multi-mode. This is our design and we can see the tree topology at the back for simulation. Okay, this is our downstream multi-mode fiber. CW laser spectrum analyzer. Optical power meter. MZ modulator analytical spectrum analyzer. Optical power meter. This is our multi-mode fiber. Optical power meter. Optical power meter. Electrical power meter. BR analyzer. Q factor, minimum BR threshold, height, and BR pattern. Third one is upstream single mode fiber. This is our design, and behind here we can see three topology. For simulation, CW laser power meter, CW laser optical spectrum analyzer, MZ modulator optical power meter, optical spectrum analyzer, optical power meter, electrical power meter, last one is BER analyzer. Q factor, minimum BER, threshold, height, and BER pattern. Here we can see the analysis value. Fourth one, we go for upstream multi-mode fiber. This is our design and we can see the tree topology at the back. For simulation. Optical power meter at CW laser. Spectrum analyzer. MZ modulator power meter. Spectrum analyzer. Optical power meter at multi-mode fiber. Electrical power meter. BR analyzer. This whole height is an SBR pattern. Here we can see the analysis. The last one is bidirectional. This is our bidirectional design with three topology. We start at CW laser, spectrum analyzer, optical power meter, MZ modulator spectrum analyzer, optical power meter. Here we can see our bidirectional optical fiber for 15 km, optical power meter, electrical power meter, BER analyzer. Okay, next for upstream, power meter for CW laser, spectrum analyzer for CW laser, MZ modulator power meter, optical spectrum analyzer, 
optical power meter, electrical power meter, BER yang lainnya. Q factor, minimum BER, threshold, height, and BER factor. We also can see the analysis at the right side. That's all from me. So next for my part, I'll be explaining on the on the results that Rangita uh, shared earlier. So there are, like, there are several optical components that we chose uh, before designing our uh, FTTB. So uh, the components that we chose, the main aim is to have minimum losses. So basically there are two uh, configuration of PON standards. So this system is cat categorized under symmetric standard where the upstream and downstream of the data direction operate in the same bit rate. Uh, the bit rate which is given one gigabyte per second. So uh, the first scenario provides an implementation of XG porn using directional transmission fiber and the other scenario designed based on the use of bidirectional fiber just like my friend Raginta explained earlier. So um, this system comes under XG porn because the downstream is 1575 nanometer and the upstream is 1270 nanometer. And the main purpose of OLT unit is to serve the function of controlling the flow of information across the ODN, either to receive from the ODN, such as in the downstream or in reverse direction, such as the upstream. So, uh, and the attenuation value that we used for our system is 0.2 dB. And uh, there are some other losses from the connectors and also uh, splices. All right, uh, moving on to the next part, which is the specification. So uh, there are two types of uh, fiber uh, mode, which is single mode fiber and also multi mode fiber, two types of fiber. So uh, we we did the simulation based on single mode and also multi mode. So from our designed uh, FTTB PON, the single mode fiber will be the best choice because the single mode fiber cabling is suitable for long distance transmission application, despite the cost being expensive compared to the multi mode uh, fiber. However, uh, the multimode fiber is only suitable for a short distance for a very good transmission. And the next part for the light source, we chose lasers as our light source for the fiber optic uh, transmission because laser is more powerful and operate at, at a faster speed than LED. And they can also transmit light uh, further with fewer errors compared to LED. And the divergence uh, for, the, for the laser, which means the spreading of the light uh, is is far more uh, narrower compared to LED. So the Fabry Parrot laser will be the best choice for this system because it supports the wavelength for this system and the power into the fiber, which is 10 dBm input input power that we have used. And following, uh, we have used the wavelength division multiplexing splitter. Okay, the wavelength division multiplexing multiplexing splitter is an optical device required at the central office, which is the OLT deployment where the uh, Sungai Udang there. So it combines and splits signals of different wavelength. The WDM splitter increases the, the system performance without changing the distribution network. And it provides signal of different wavelength in the downstream transmission to merge to a common optical fiber. And in the upstream transmission, it classifies signal from the common fiber into the corresponding optical fiber. And we, we have also used the low pass uh, filter, which is the Bessel filter. Okay, why we use low pass Bessel filter is because the, uh, this filter shows the best performance among the other filters at a larger wavelength. And this filter provides constant uh, group delay. Uh, eye opening height is more in Bessel filter and it gives minimum bit rate error in receive signal. So uh, the minimum bit rate error being the one of the most important parameter in our system. So the low pass uh, Bessel filter uh, seems to be the best to use for the design purpose. And then moving on to the dynamic range and uh, receiver sensitivity. So the receiver sensitivity and dynamic range is one of the most important thing in the design of FTTB PON system. So uh, the dynamic range and the receiver sensitivity are the minimum acceptable value of received power needed to achieve an acceptable BER just like I mentioned earlier. So the receiver must cope with an optical input as high as negative 5 dBm and as low as negative 30 dBm. Okay, so the receiver needs an optical dynamic range of 25 dB. From a design perspective, worst case analysis calls for assuming minimum transmitter power. The minimum transmitter power that we used was 10 dBm and minimum uh, receiver sensitivity. So this provides a margin that compensates for variation of transmitter power and receiver sensitivity levels with minimum transmitted transmit power and minimum receiver sensitivity data. So that's all from me. I will pass this session to my friend soon. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Malini. 
So for the application part, the FTTB fiber to the building and the FTTP fiber to the premise and can, actually can be used interchangeable with the FTTH uh, because the network structure is the same and the words home building and the premise are used to describe the building that the fiber network connect directly to. And for the FTTB actually it support uh, multiple of the purpose, including for the real-time application, the web-based application, telematic, VR, and videos. So but because FTTB is very flexible and can be based on customer uh, preference, so the new product and service and can be easily implemented and can be easily implemented remotely. Okay. For the discussion part, uh, the spectrum character is shown in the figure and the two ways modulation rate is uh, one gigabit from the um, spectrum analysis figure and we show up the result uh, just now for Rangita. Okay. And for the quality factor is defined as the best the decision point in the relation between the signal power and the noise power. So suppose probably of one and zero are equal. And the quality factor is shown as the uh, formula shown in the uh, given. And the average voltage is mean 0 and 1. And also for the standard variance. Okay. For the figure of single mode, the anal analyzer present the uplink QF is about 1E plus uh, 0, 5, 0. So the corresponding VR is uh, about 0. And the I high and the threshold and are respectively to 1 and 1.4238 for E. Negative zero to three. So while well for the downlink QF is about twenty point nine nine three five, and the minimum BR is about two point seven three eight to seven E zero nine eight, and the high side and threshold are respectively to zero point zero zero four and zero point four zero six to five. While for the figure of multi mode, multi mode, the analyzer present the uplink QF is about one E plus uh, zero five zero. So the corresponding VR is about to zero, and the high 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 and the threshold are respectively to one and nine point five seven six three e. So while well, for the downlink quality factor is about to zero, and the minimum VR is about one, and the high 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 and the threshold is both equal to zero. So from the bidirectional figure, the initial quality of pure ending is displayed, and the QA is higher than the I uh, of provided, and the pure end line is set to negative three dpn and fifteen kilometer for the fiber length. While the analysis present the uplink QS is about uh, 1E plus 050 and the corresponding BI is about 0 and the high R and threshold are respectively to 1 and 1.48257E. Then for the downlink QS is about 143.051 and the minimum BI is about to 0 and the high R and threshold are respectively to 0 0.004 and 6.1237. And these are the parameters which is satisfied for the uh, requirement. For the conclusion, uh, upon a complete need for this uh, Assignment has successfully to design a fiber design uh, FTTB passive optical network uh, we use in the u faculty. And the topology we use is the three topology point to multi point, which is also known at the theoretical topology and located at the Sungai Udang, Laka, which is 15 km to u main campus. And we already achieved the requirement of the speed service. We carry one gigabyte and also use the wave length of 150 nanometer for the downstream and 1270 nanometer for the upstream transmitter. Okay. So based on the FTTV device, the simulator using the optimized uh, opti system for the system performance parameter uh, VR, which is the bit error rate and Q factor optimized simulations. So a uh, bidirectional PON communication link is um, set up which has a gigabyte symmetry rate. Okay. So for the three topology is integrate various star topology together in a single bus. So it's also known as the star bus topology. And the three topology is very common network, which is similar to a bus and star topology. And there are also some advantages which are if one node is failure, it will never affect the rest of the network, and the node expansion is easy and fast. Uh, and the problem shooting, troubleshooting is easy and straightforward. While for the disadvantage is heavily cable topology, which will huge amount of the network cable is required. So if more nodes are added, then maintenance will be difficult. So for the future trend, future trend, the modern business increases demand faster and more secure and larger capacity network. While the fiber optic technology and wireless data communication system are continue to develop itself along greater demand of speed and efficiency. So they are become very necessary uh, necessity in many residents um, and commercial projects around the world. So, so today the multiple initiative promise to make FTTB less uh, expansion to deploy and better meet the most aggressive bandwidth demand forecast. Okay. So for the optical fiber and its ability to transmit large uh, bandwidth over long distance. So this is the future trend, FTTB. So lastly, these are the references that we refer to. Yes. So I think that's all from us, from group one. Thank you. Thank you.